hey guys hope you all doing well yeah so today we will study about brain okay it's very important and you know one of the most complicated topic of our anatomy syllabus so let's start before starting you all know what to do like and share my videos and subscribe my channel okay so if they ask you any any questions regarding brain then then you know starts writing with introduction okay so let's see the introduction yeah so our nervous system is divided into two parts i have already uploaded the introduction of nervous system you know uh, before then you can go and check that uh, video also so our nervous system divided into two parts which is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system means the mid portion you can remember like this the mid portion of our body which includes uh, brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system means all the nerves around our limbs you know hands and legs right peripheral nervous system means both side and central nervous system means middle okay i remember like this you can also uh, try this so central nervous system receive information and produce response so mainly the function of central nervous system is receiving information and producing a response okay and central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord let me show you in the diagram yeah so nervous system which is responsible for this system responsible for receiving information and producing response and then uh, you know uh, spreading that information okay so yeah nervous system delivering that information you can say so nervous system is divided into two parts which is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system means the mid portion of the body you can say which is central nervous system means brain and spinal cord the mid portion of our body okay brain and spinal cord and they receive information and they produce a response okay so today we will particularly study about the brain right yeah so let's start the definition organ of central nervous system located within the skull it is an organ brain is an organ organ of central nervous system located where what is the location of uh, brain located within or inside the skull skull means head okay inside our head inside our skull responsible for receiving interpreting and distributing the information okay receiving means they receive information they interpret means they understand the information and they distribute the information distribute to the peripheral nervous system and the peripheral nervous system take it to the target cell okay so distributing the information mainly receiving interpreting and distributing the information okay so location of brain in the cranial cavity okay means inside the skull weight for adult male it is 1380 gram and for adult female it is 1250 gram okay now let's understand the parts of brain okay cerebrum diencephalon midbrain and hindbrain mainly three uh, you know there are three parts of brain which is cerebrum diencephalon it comes under four brain midbrain and hindbrain okay okay let me show you the diagram yes so this is the cerebrum okay cerebrum uh, this is you know looks like an egg you know so this is the you know the biggest portion of brain which is the cerebrum just below the cerebrum we have midbrain okay just below the cerebrum we have midbrain this black portion okay and just below the midbrain we have this you know this sky blue color portion which is pons in generally it is not sky blue color but i just you know draw it to you know make things more clear make the parts more clear so pons just below the midbrain and just below the pons we have medulla oblongata this orange portion and after that this long portion this long green portion is the spinal cord and you know beside the midbrain and beside the pons we have uh, this structure which is cerebellum okay don't confuse between cerebrum and cerebellum so cerebrum is the bigger portion the biggest portion of the you know brain and the most upper portion of the uppermost part of the brain which is uh, cerebrum and cerebellum you know cerebellum situated beside midbrain and pons okay so let's just repeat this is cerebrum this is midbrain 
just below the midbrain we have pons just below the pons we have medulla oblongata and medulla oblongata uh, just below the medulla oblongata we have the spinal cord and here we have the cerebellum which is beside the midbrain and beside the pons okay yeah now let's see cerebrum which is divided into you know you know the parts of cerebrum we can divide into two portion which is external features and internal features of cerebrum cerebrum is this portion okay the big, biggest you know the uppermost and the most uh, biggest part of the brain so external is like uh, you know we have two uh, features which is sulci and gyri and lobes and internal we have basal ganglia and white matter we will all study this topic in detail don't worry midbrain it is also called a mesencephalon it doesn't have any part midbrain is a part itself and hind brain it further divided into three portion which is pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum let's see pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum so this you know this makes the hind brain okay this makes the hind brain pons medulla uh, medu uh, sorry pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum and cerebrum is the you know uppermost part of the brain and this is the midbrain so so fore brain midbrain and hind brain okay yeah okay so i hope the parts are clear now let's study the cerebrum which is the you know the uppermost and the biggest part of the brain so yeah external a uh, uh, cerebrum has two features which is external features and internal features externally sulci and gyri and lobes and internally basal ganglia and white matter so let's study all these things and cerebrum you know it it is that this portion is called cerebrum and cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and it is an egg shaped organ okay just it looks like an egg no yeah 